precautions and contraindications for neurons include absolute recent fractures, polyphenol lesions, neoplasms, relative uh, osteoporosis, RA, and neurological signs. So, reliability and validity for PBOMs include uh, experience that does not necessarily improve reliability, uh, intra-rated re reliability is better than intra-rated, and research and validity is still promising but limited. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today um, is the thoracic uh, PAVM, which is a passive physiological intervertebral uh, motion test. We took out six different steps that you're going to uh, go through sequentially to perform uh, PIVM for both the upper thoracic and for the lower thoracic into flexion and extension. So the first step that you're going to uh, do is position the patient. So go ahead and have them um, sit on the table. Um, you want their feet to be supported. So you can bring this up. And then next, go ahead and instruct the patient to uh, cross their arms across their chest. Uh, the step two is you're going to um, adjust the t height of the table. Um, and then also, as the therapist, you want to be as close to the patient as you can. So that way you, you can use your body more and you're not having to bear such uh, large forces on your body. Okay, so then step three um, is going to be stabilization for this. Uh, the table is going to be providing the stabilization with her body weight uh, going down on the table. Um, step four, and before you do this, you want to actually speak and tell the patient what you're going to be doing. Um, and so I, what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be palpating uh, at different levels of your spine, okay? Um, I want you to relax during the whole thing. Uh, I'm going to move you through the different ranges. Uh, we're going to be going forward and back, okay? And I want you just to relax for, throughout the whole thing, okay? I'm going to be providing all the movement, okay? For this, we're going to be doing uh, two different levels. We're going to be doing the upper thoracic and the lower thoracic. Uh, the upper is C7 through T3, and the lower is going to be T4 through T11. To start at the top, we're going into flexion and we're going into extension, and you'll palpate your way down, uh, feeling the spinous processes and feeling the inner spinous process open up as you go into flexion or close down as you're going into extension. Palpate and find C7, and we're going to do this by having the patient uh, flex and extend their neck. So honey, if you can, go ahead and flex and extend for me at your neck. Perfect. All right, you can go ahead and relax. So then, for the mobilization, um, again, I'm gonna be providing all the force, uh, honey, so I want you just to go ahead and relax the whole time, okay? Um, I'm gonna bring my arm under your arms, okay? Um, for the upper one, you can actually keep your arms down by your side. So for the upper thoracic, what we're going to be doing is um, C7 down through T3. Uh, for this one, you're going to instruct the patient to have their arms down by their side, um, and you're actually going to bring your arm in front and under the patient's chin, and then you'll be taking them through flexion extension that way. Um, you want to make sure that you have them nice and relaxed, so that way you can actually provide the motion. So honey, can you scoot over just a little towards me again? All right, and I just want you to um, flex and extend. So I'm just finding C7. Good, relax. And then now I'm just going to be taking you through flexion and extension. And again, you're going to be palpating C7 and T1 to start, and you can feel that inner space uh, open. And then you'll move down one level. And again, you can feel it open and move down. So you bring her back up to neutral, and again, as you're doing this, you want to make sure that uh, you're proceeding slowly. You want to oscillate uh, <clears throat> at each segment two to three times as you move through. And uh, again, you want to start at the top and move your way down. So now we'll go ahead and do extension the same way. So honey, can you go ahead and flex and extend for me? Okay, good. And I'm just going to bring my arm back under. This time we're going to go into extension, okay? And again, you're going to oscillate two to three times at each segment and you're feeling the spinous process is closed down now into extension. Okay. 
the lower thoracic. So again, the same series um, where you're going to palpate at C7, uh, move down until T4, and then again, you'll oscillate at each segment two to three times as you move down. You wanna make sure you do it slow so that you can actually feel the spinous processes opening up into flexion or closing down into extension. So honey, again, we're, I'm gonna have you flex and extend for me. Okay, right and relax. And now I'm just palpating down to T4. So then this time, uh, instead of having your arms down by your side, you're going to cross them. Um, as the PT, uh, I'm just going to come under her arm, and I, again, you want to make sure you're as close to the patient as you can so you can really use your body weight to help you. And then we're just going to be taking her into flexion to start with, and we'll be feeling that inner spinous process, uh, inner spinous space opening up. So now we'll do the same thing. This time we're going to be going into extension. Again, you want to start from the top, do each level two to three times, and you'll be feeling the inner space uh, closing down this time. So, <clears throat> so honey, if you can again, go ahead and flex and extend. Okay, and relax. All right, and again, you're going to come in as the PT uh, under the patient's arm and you're going to be taking them into extension. So again, I want you to just fully relax, okay? And I'm going to be taking you through the motion. back up to neutral. And that is both the upper and the lower thoracic pivot into flexion and extension.